Hey everyone, welcome to Camp Keyframe. In this video, I'm going to tell you something about easing uh, movements. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to animate this briefcase, uh, but the animation doesn't really look that smooth. It just, yeah, it's ugly. Um, in this video, we're going to try to uh, make it a bit more uh, smooth. So uh, let's jump in. We open the suitcase. <laughs> let's open the suitcase, all right. And we go to transform. And there we see all our uh, parameters and we see the keyframes on which we animated something. Um, e an easy thing to know, by the way, is if I press S on the keyboard, I open up the scale property. If I press R, uh, rotation, and P for position. Uh, if I want to open all three of them, I just uh, pick one, like it's now it's P for position. When I hold Shift and press R, I also open rotation. And I keep holding Shift and press uh, S, I also open the scale. Uh, and what you can even do is press the press U to close everything or you uh, again to open everything with so with U, you uh, actually uh, show uh, all the keyframes which you animated on your uh, layer uh, so now to create some fine movement uh, let's do the scale first it's no, let's do the position first uh, select the keyframes you want to um, yeah smooth out right click go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease and you'll see uh, the keyframes uh, turn into a different icon. Uh, if I select them again and I press on this little button, the graph editor, it opens the graph editor. So here you see the the two keyframes I did not ease yet, and uh, the two uh, I did. So these are have this beautiful arc, and these have this you know this, this square. If I uh, click this one and I just drag this over, just to make them really it's like slow, fast, and then slow again. Uh, that's what we want. We want, we want it to move in uh, slowly, then hit a peak, and then uh, stop slowly as well. Just ne it needs to ease in and out. So that's what's happening right now. It, it has a yeah. You know the rotation and the scale still look ugly, but the position is uh, a lot smoother. Uh, let's do it with also with this one. Uh, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Open the graph editor, and you see uh, it already created a, a arc, but you can make it a bit more nice, like this. So now, and then it is a lot more interesting. Uh, let's do that also with the rotation. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, open the graph editor. And yeah, it's upside down. I don't know why. Um, like this. And now the rotation also has a, has a bit more to it. I'll just make it a bit larger. And now for scale, I can do the exact same same thing. Oh, let's right click here, easy ease, and give it a bit more life. So it looks great. But what I, what I, can, what I can also do, I want to show you something. This command Z a couple times, yeah. Uh, you can also uh, download this free plugin, Ease and Wiz. It's great. Just download it, please. Um, uh, you select these keyframes. You click uh, Apply. You know, I just I just chose exponential. You have uh, uh, a lot more, uh, you know, setups. Um, click apply, and it all, and it creates a it creates an expression. If I open this, you know, here it, it created an expression which makes it move nice. So you don't have to go into the graph editor whatsoever. It just adds an expression which ma which makes it um, move in a cool way. So there you go. So. Uh, to remember, press U to close everything, U to open up everything. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.